Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode of Train Driver 2. Yes, we are back with some trains today. <laughs> Finally, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. For past two weeks I've been sinking some ships. Today I decided, yeah, let's go for it. Let's drive some trains already. <laughs> Yeah, I, I missed this game. I, I really missed it. And I missed all of you guys. Let's see who is on the chat. Yorichi Tsuku... Oh, oh my goodness me. Yeah, Yorichi, uh, The Zen Show, uh, Railjet. My goodness me, so many people. Jimmy Chain, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> right, so. What I planned for today is... A local passenger service, uh, probably nothing special. <laughs> I still don't know how long the timetable will be. Hopefully it won't be as long as it used to be last time. <laughs> Let's say seven and a half hours was a little bit too much. <laughs> so hopefully today we will get a long timetable but not too long. Yes, that, that would be the best. Like, three, four hours long timetable would be perfect. <laughs> Who am I lying to? It's it's probably gonna end up in, in like, uh, seven hour long stream anyway. It's, it, it, it always ends up like that, isn't it? <laughs> right, so, uh, perhaps without any further ado, uh, maybe we shall jump into the game. There we go. That's much better, isn't it? So, let's jump into multiplayer. Obviously, we are going to be driving, so driver mode. And that's our lovely train, SM42. That's going to be the locomotive. Passenger service, 139 meters long. 274 tons with top speed of 70 kilometers per hour not the fastest engine ever <laughs> but it should make things fun hopefully hopefully <laughs> hoodie hello welcome to the stream i hope you'll have a great time today just doing a timetable in Train Sim World 2 and it said 10 minutes and it took me more than an hour. Yes, uh, Train Sim World 2 has that problem where the game thinks a scenario will take you like 10 or 30 minutes and it usually lasts for about an hour if you want to do things correctly. So yeah, I, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Many of uh, Sunpatch Great scenarios uh, had that problem. Right, anyway. Where shall we jump in? Uh, which station should we pick? Huh. Perhaps. Perhaps. Ah. Uh, you see, Arcadia Street is, is, is uh, closed, basically. There are so many stations today, isn't it, chat? Look at this. So many open spawns. Yeah. Right, right. We need to find some nice station where we can get some nice and long timetable that would be the best so huh, who should we attack with that <laughs> you know what Let, let's jump into Dobrzyniec and let's see what's gonna happen That's, that might be fun Magical air brakes. <laughs> there we go. It, it takes a while to connect to it, isn't it? And there we go. Here we are. Okay, so. Let's begin.
Huh. Let me set up the lights for now for shunting, just in case. That should do. And let me lock the camera. Perfect. Now, let's have a look. What do we have in front of us and behind us? Yes, we are not at the platform. So, there's going to be some shunting. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some shunting, chat we set off. I, I'm not sure where exactly the platform is. I, I think it's in front of us somewhere. But we still need to get a timetable. Signals are on. Perfect. Okay, we can now send our analysis. Oh, oh, I forgot to delete the number. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Let's get in. I really like those wagons. You, you can actually get inside. And go for a walk. In fact, uh, that's the only wagons that supports passengers, so you can actually get other players to jump in and they can travel as a passengers. Well, only within a single scenery, of course, uh, because as soon as you go to another one, unfortunately the players won't be able to connect with you. But it's still nice. It's a progress, chat. It's a progress. There we go. Oops. Uh, not these ones. These ones. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we are now waiting for the timetable. And I can grab some photos. There we go. That's going to be a nice screenshot. Another screenshot. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Okay. 
Okay, looks like someone connected and wanted to do some shunting. Unfortunately, that's not going to be possible. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, Railjet. Yeah. You need to get some better internet. Okay, we are now doing some shunting. Uh, we need to head to signal G4. I don't know where that is. So let's be slow. Maybe not too slow. Where is that G4? Oh, I see. That might be at the platform, is it? Yeah. Looks to me. Yeah, it's gonna be at the platform, chat. Yeah, I noticed that, I noticed that, unfortunately, while I drive, I, I'm trying to limit my chat usage to the minimum. Especially when I'm trying to find a signal, which I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have a feeling that I will have to run around my wagons and that's not my favorite way to drive SM42 us uh, oh he left already well that's a shame <laughs> yeah but I, I wouldn't like to make a spot when when I'm just maneuvering. So yeah, the signal is right in front of me. Barely visible. Uh, the Zen Show, yes, uh, Train Driver 2 is multiplayer.
There we go. No, uh, Train Driver 2 is only a PC title, so you will have to have Windows PC. Right, so technically we are at the right place. Question is, what's next? Let's put on full brakes, just in case I have to cut the wagons off. Yeah, I, I don't think I have to go all the way to the semaphore. There's no point. The wagon should be nicely at the platform. Perfect. And that is probably the semaphore that I'm looking for, which is semaphore G. Yes, it is. G4. Perfect. Okay, so now we have to wait for the timetable and see what's going to happen. Oops, I, I, I think someone failed to fit. Oh my goodness me, the guy is at the semaphore. That's going to be a tight fit, chat. That's going to be a tight fit to get this train properly into the siding. And unlock the junctions. Because right now, everything is blocked. <laughs> uh, the Zen Show. Uh, there are... Well, there is a number of uh, rolling stock available in, in Train Driver 2. Uh, you got electric locomotives. You got electric multiple units. Uh, you got that one diesel locomotive that I'm using today. Unfortunately, there is nothing else just yet. Uh, there's tons of different rolling stock, like wagons and, and stuff, so you can take freight train, you can load it with, with some cargo, uh, you can take passenger train uh, or build it from, from different wagons that are available. Oh, there we go, this guy disconnected. So, yeah, there's plenty of trains that you can drive in this game. And we got one diesel multiple unit. Well, not as much as we can call it multiple unit. Uh, it's, it's basically a rail tram or, or something like that. <laughs> but it's diesel. Not the fastest one. But definitely interesting to drive. Right, I'm still waiting for my timetable. So we shall see what's going to be my next step. And since I requested longer timetable might take a while before we get our schedule and I hope it won't be like 250 kilometer long because with this train it's gonna take us literally six hours 
but I'm still hoping for at least like 150 kilometers, something like that. That that would be brilliant. Okay, we got freight train here. Very interesting things are happening on, on this station. Is the staircase? Yes, it is working! There we go, that's a nice footpath. I like it, I like it. Ooh, and the clocks are working. Yeah, the clocks are actually working and they are showing the right time. That is really nice. And there we go, we got our timetable. Let me jump into the cabin and set my lights. So, uh, 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 we need this one and we need this one. Right, so my departure is in four minutes. And well, that's that's a good timetable, I, I would say. It's gonna take us about two hours. Well, just over two hours to be honest. So yeah, uh, that's that's a good timetable. I, I'd say it, it is perfect. Uh, for most parts, we can travel at 70 km per hour uh, with some local speed limit restrictions. Uh, Pszczyna is going to be limited to 50 and then we're going back to 70 all the way to Lemborg. So, yeah. That's, that's going to be very, very interesting. Hi Nam, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. And Railjet, uh, yes, I've seen the new pictures from uh, Simrail and I look forward to play it. I want to know when is the release date, because I, I really want to get my hands on, on Simrail. And you can be absolutely sure that first Friday after it's released, that's going to be Simrail. <laughs> There's not much guessing because that that's that's the game that I'm waiting for. So definitely. Okay, so we got a few minutes. Do we have any longer stops? Uh what Fotsko is gonna give us three minutes, not too bad. Most of the stops are one minute long. Least of uh, that's another three minutes. Yeah, we we don't really have any longer stops, so that's gonna be two hours without stopping. Oh my goodness me!
exactly I'm gonna do exactly the same it's, it's like release date and, and and the game is gonna make its way to my library I really can't wait for that steam rail even if it ends up being a little bit worse than people expect like it's a massive project like just for the sake of, of playing along that route that it's gonna be in, in the game it's, it's definitely gonna be fun but yeah I, I expect the game to have some bugs uh, especially since it's a massive project so there's definitely gonna be something right we got about 30 seconds so as soon as we get clear signal it should work right let me just is this No, why, why is this not working? Oh, I see, I see, I see. And there we go. We may now depart. Off we go, chat. Off we go. Perfect. Speed limit at the semaphore is 100 kilometers per hour. Although this train can't go that fast. So we can absolutely fly it. <laughs> yeah, fuel is now expensive, isn't it? What must be hard? <laughs> no, it shouldn't be that hard. There we go. We're now at 60. Perfect. Next stop, Kościerzyn Mały. In about 10 minutes. Oh wow, is it that expensive in, in Vietnam? Like, I, I know the fuel prices are quite high right now, but... Didn't realize it's that bad. 
There we go. Crossing is closed. Perfect. Unstoppable. Uh, I, I, uh, no, it, it doesn't really ring a bell to me. <laughs> Probably at some point. Oh my goodness me, chat. We are speeding. We are speeding. Slow down. One pound sixteen. It's not that bad. It's it's really not that bad. Like here in UK is nearly two pounds right now. <laughs> Spider, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Oh my goodness me, thirty six degrees. No, it's it's not that hot in UK, thankfully. Oh my goodness me. It's like 20 degrees today, 20, 21, something like that. go we got a red light in front of us Oh wow, 40 degrees, come on, oh no, I, I'm already melting and it's on 20, oh. Right, there is that red light in front of us. Okay, almost there. Let's roll closer to that semaphore. Okay, I, I should be able to stop in front of it. There we go. Okay, let's check. Ooh. I stopped pretty far, chat. That's pretty far. I can't even read what's, uh, what's the semaphore number. That's not a great stop. 
decent, but not great. Let me just check this out. Okay, semaphore G. Good to know, good to know, just in case I need to identify where I am. <laughs> oh wow, you guys are getting some serious records. <laughs> I'm not sure what's the highest temperature ever recorded in UK, but uh, if it gets anywhere close to 25 degrees, everyone is melting. Like, this country is completely not prepared for anything above 25. Okay, so we are now slowly heading to Wapanu. Although we still got Kosciuszyn Maui, which, uh, which is pretty much just in front of us, isn't it? Yeah. That should be Kasztanki. Then there should be Kosher and Maui somewhere. So it looks like Wapanov is going to be offline. So then I will have to contact with Jevoshitsa. Too bad, too bad. Luigi Rota, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, uh, let's give plus plus. There we go. <laughs> yeah, like Train Sim World 2 has that issue where markers are placed pretty much right in front of the signal. So, uh, no, that this is really bad. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, if you are using multiple units, uh, then headlight control basically tells how the lights will be operated on which side of the train so if you set them up correctly you will have uh, headlights at the front and at the back of the consist And I think I explained that in one of the Run 8 videos. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's where, I, that's where I've done it. Okay, we are approaching the station, uh, which is Kosciuszyn Maui. And that is our next stop, so I will let it go. And perhaps begin to slow down a little bit that we won't miss the platform.
Uh, because the idea is so that you can control everything from your cabin. So if you set it up correctly, you will be able to do that. If you don't, you will have to run along your train every single time you have to change something. Yeah, in train sim world 2 it's not really necessary to use any headlights. You, you don't get any penalties for that. Okay, where is that platform? It should be a little bit further away. Oh, there it is. And it's right behind that crossing. down and that's the spot let's apply the brakes and hopefully we will stop at the end of the platform There we go, chat. Fits like a glove. Like a glove, I'm telling you. If I will jump out right now. Yeah, that's the stopping marker. Ah, just perfect. Just perfect, chat. Okay, let's give it 30 more seconds. And then off we go to Wapanu. Yeah, the central. Uh, I know, Dovetail is terrible at making tutorials. Like, they told you how to start the locomotive and how to drive it forwards and backwards and that's pretty much it the rest you have to figure it out on your own okay it's time to depart we are late chat we are late officially Gergo Puskas, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. There we go. Perfect, 30 kilometers per hour, we are speeding up chat. Okay, so Wapanov is going to be offline, if I'm correct. So we will have to stop at the entry semaphore and get permission from Jevoshitsa, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Dovetail is not the best at it. Although, on the other hand, it's it motivates players to seek the information on their own. So that's not exactly the worst thing. Uh, but yeah, if, if you are making a console game, 
uh, that that usually means that you are aiming at the player base that doesn't really like to read uh, and yeah you should at least include all those tutorials and information within the game and that's that's not happening with Dota. There we go, we are now approaching the end of the scenery, that's why the game lags a bit, as always. Let it coast. Uh, yes, I believe they had to. Uh, they have to license every single bit that that they do because it's commercial product. There we go. And now we are approaching Wapano question is, uh, is the scenery online or offline right now? That's, that's a good question. No, it doesn't look like it's online. Yeah, so at the entry semaphore I will have to stop. And what I'm gonna do, since I'm already late anyway, I will take a quick break. And then I will contact with Jevoshitze. Okay, so where is that semaphore? Oh well, if it's offline then it's offline, it's not a big deal. Uh, the Zen Show, uh, yes, I, I have a few, uh, although I'm not particularly interested in, in many of the DLCs, because most of them are terrible. It's Train Sim World, after all. Oh, there we go. That's a distant only signal. But once a virtual dispatcher uh, like lock the route between the next station and and like block the dispatcher from doing anything on that route. Uh, if I remember correctly, that used to be a problem back then. That's why I usually hold off with turning on virtual dispatcher until I get clearance. Or did they change that? 
Because last time I remember when somebody used uh, offline dispatcher, it actually blocked the route uh, for uh, for the next station, so I couldn't get any trains on on that trail. Daniel Piasecki, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, so for now we are stopped. I'll be back in less than five minutes, hopefully. And then we shall continue. So, stay tuned, chat. Stay tuned. All right, chat, I'm back, I'm back, and it's time, it's time to contact with the dispatcher. So, uh, we are trying to find Jevoshitsa. Okay, as soon as I get confirmation, I can engage. Dispatcher. There we go. Right, so we will make a quick stop at the platform. Then we have stop at one of the linea. And then we are heading to Jevoshice. Unfortunately, we are already late and that is a problem. Well, maybe not now, but later on it will be. Go. 
can already see the platforms up ahead. Almost there. Hopefully that will be the only issue along this route. I, I really wish it would. go oh wow this guy is having his time okay maybe not at the stopping marker it's further up ahead that should do we got very short consist so everything should be within the platform limits it is All right. perfect mr Siena, thank you very much for subscribing welcome 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 to the stream welcome to the chat so uh, you will be able to chat with us in 10 minutes Looks like that's going to be long enough. Let's release the brakes. And off we go. There's still a long way to go. Javos, yes, that's true, that's true. At, at least uh, offline mode is not resetting the switches un uh, under me. <laughs> Fortowiec MK, hello, good evening. Good evening to you too. Welcome to the stream. go <laughs> enjoy enjoy Right, let's try to make up some time. It won't be easy, because this consist is limited to 70. So, yeah. We, we probably won't make up the lost time uh, on, on those bumps that we had so far. But hey, up to 30 minutes, it's not a delay, isn't it? And up to three hours, it's just a minor inconvenience. And there we go, we got some speed limit up ahead. Exactly 70, chat. Exactly 70.
Perfect. By the way, I, I think I forgot to... Did I? Oh yeah, I, I, I did forget. There we go. Uh, I, I really wish that the train driver too would have better outside view. There we go, let's lock this camera. Okay, now we can switch between them two. Oh, I actually switched right on time. First of all, because I'm speeding. And that's not good. And also, because I'm approaching the next platform. And it would be nice to stop on time. Freddy Krueger, yes, I, I do agree with you on that one. <laughs> Although having a nice outside view is also important. There we go, chat. That's going to be perfect stop, I'm telling you. Just look at this. There we go, right at the marker. Well, just in front of it. Okay, so we are supposed to have one minute stop here. Just perfect. Let's take a screenshot. <laughs> uh, Freddy Krueger, I won't be asking for a new timetable until 9 p.m. And, and probably that will be the time when when I will finish the stream anyway. <laughs> As you can see, my timetable is quite long, and I just began it so yeah this probably this is not gonna happen today okay brakes are off almost and off we go chat off we go next stop Jevoshitsa Yeah, sorry about that, Spider. Uh, I was supposed to be there like seven minutes ago. Exactly at the platform, but, well... Since... Wapanov was off, uh, yeah, everything takes time. But who knows, who knows, maybe you will catch me... ...further down the road. I'm not that fast after all.
Perfect. Perfect. Nice and smooth. And that's how I want it. Like, I don't want any silly adventures today. <laughs> Please. Okay, doing nice solid 65. Okay. Speed is going up. Perfect, perfect. And what's the next speed limit? Oh, that's a bad time, bad time, bad time, chat, bad time. 80, perfect. Just perfect, chat. Okay, so looks like it's thumbs up for virtual dispatcher. <laughs> there we go. too fast okay let's let it coast and let's let the speed to drop a little bit Perfect. Chubon, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. And <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I, I can see you are on the same scenery right now. Oop, I'm going too fast now. Don't like it. Dominic Toretto, hello. Welcome to the stream and Paolo Dano, thank you very much for subscribing. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness me, I am speeding. Uh, let me just introduce some brakes. There we go. A touch is all I need. Oh, there we go, and we are approaching 60 km per hour speed limit, which is perfect because my speed currently is 60. Oh, and on top of that there's gonna be stop signal. Which is even better. Okay, let's slow down. And that's the platform, chap. That's the platform.
nice and slow. A bit far, a bit far, chat. Oh. Okay, okay. That is a perfect stop. There we go, chat. Fits like a glove. Like a glove. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we got green light. Perfect. Let's allow passengers. To exchange for a minute. So that is Jevoshitze. We are uh, 30 minutes late. Yeah. Uh, nearly 15 minutes. That's 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 gonna be heavy. That's really heavy, chat. I don't know how we are going to recover from that. What's not yet a delay. <laughs> Okay, brakes are off, and off we go. Okay, uh, I think it's already 70 in here. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was just a temporary speed limit of 60. So we can fly it, chat, we can fly it. All the way to Yashinice Wielkie. Well, I have to admit that we are doing pretty well with this sign table. Okay, we are approaching some speed limit. Ooh, 20 chat. That's, that means we have to use brakes. Last thing I want to do is to fly into 20 while doing 60. Uh, Zjavos, we are technically about 15 minutes behind the schedule. Okay, where is that? 20. Right 
brakes are now off and that's 20 only this crossing oh my goodness me only for the crossing chats go now we can speed back up and we should now be approaching one no what is that uh, Yashinsa Velkia should be somewhere somewhere in front of us Well, the good thing about this consist is that SM42 is pretty good with five passenger wagons, meaning that it's not going to be as sluggish as it used to be last time when we had those uh, freight cars and we went a little bit too far with, uh, with the weight. <laughs> And if you remember correctly, well, if you remember the previous stream from Train Driver 2, <laughs> whenever I had to go uphill, SM42 just couldn't handle that, and, and we were basically limited to 20 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh, that was a pain. That was pain. go where is that station now? it should be somewhere around here ah there it is there it is chat Ah, there we go. It's very close to the end of the scenery. Oh, I should have kept the brakes on. We will have to put it on level 2. Back to level 1. 
Perfect. Okay, let's give it a minute and... Let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Just, just before we leave. Okay, and off we go, chat. So that was Jasienice Wielkie, and the next stop is Śródborowo. Then we are heading to Otpocko. Pretty much most of our route today is on double track section, except Lemborg, which is gonna be a single track section. A bit of a shame, uh, but it is what it is, chat. I, I was actually hoping to, to get a little bit more stations without catenary today, uh, but you can't have everything, isn't it, chat? There we go. And that's gonna be Shrut Borovo, I believe. That was quick. Yeah, true. Uh, like there will probably be more uh, when developers will add additional diesel locomotives because right now yeah with SM42s only yeah. there's just not much rolling stock that can show up on those so I actually don't blame people for not starting those sceneries I have to brake a little bit harsher than usual there we go. We made it. Okay, this is gonna be a quick stop. I'm not staying here for a full minute. It doesn't look like there's that many passengers here. Okay, that will do. Well, let's say it's confirmed rumor. I, uh, I'm guessing one of the developers partially confirmed that there is something coming but when well we are yet to see
Ah, there we go. I love those sections of old trucks where you get that classic noise. It's really good, really good. Okay, we can let it go, since we are now entering Otvotsko. Right, chat. Am I gonna make it? I, I I think I applied brakes at the perfect moment and speed. Did I? Come on, slow down already. Did I overshot the platform? I, I can't really see it. No, I'm I'm still within the platform limits, but uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that wasn't perfect. I, I I can actually admit that. Yeah, I, I think I overshot a little bit. Uh, could have done better. Okay, so definitely trying to slow down from 40. Before the end of the platform. Yeah, that, that was too short distance. <laughs> Okay, route is occupied. Uh, unfortunately, that that mess up will be visible for a little bit longer than than I wanted to. <laughs> and it's not appropriate to reverse. Although passengers can still reach every single wagon, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, we just overshot a little. Almost perfect, yes, exactly. We are playing simulator just because we want to practice. Although, I... Uh, is there... No, there is no stopping marker at Otvotsko. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah? Oh, okay, there is a stopping marker there. Uh, was it... Was it on this side as well? I couldn't see anything. Of course there isn't. See, chat, I, I couldn't even see that from SM42. Although, technically, that smile post would be... Yeah, decent, decent, okay. Right, chat, so we have to wait. There is no other choice. Oh, someone is playing with the doors. <laughs> and what are you driving today? Please close the doors. Ah, uh, really mean, mean, mean. Oh, there we go.
<laughs> Who else is here? Is that... Oh, it's only me and the dispatcher today. I was hoping there will be a little bit more traffic at Otpotsko. It's usually quite busy station. And you also got Terminus Platform. Which are perfect for electric multiple units. Especially if you are going the opposite direction next. Yeah, I, I should I should try to, to dispatch on Otvotsko at, at one point. What level is that? Is that level four? Station? Ah, you are driving EP07. Yes, yes, classic, classic, classic. See chat, that, that's what I get for being slightly delayed. Right now everyone will have a priority over me. Uh, well, except maybe freight trains. Uh, because like train classification still takes priority, but yeah. I will be blocked for a very long time on many stations. Because nobody will wait especially for me. <laughs> <laughs> and delay everything else so now I have to squeeze in somewhere in the free gaps in timetables so yeah that's that's how our trip will go right now uh, so definitely we are not going to finish at Lemberg uh, 10 to 9 uh, that's, that's not gonna happen uh, I predict Half past nine, probably closer to ten, when our train will arrive at its final destination, which is going to be Lemberg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oops, I, I, I think dispatcher by accident decoupled one of the wagons. <laughs> Happened to me as well uh, once, uh, one day. Uh, I think it was... Uh, where was it? Uh, 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 Orniki? Yes, I, I, I think it was at Orniki. Uh, I've been standing right behind someone's locomotive. I set the signals for that person. And my mouse cursor was pointing exactly at the coupler. So when I pressed in the game to, to do something, I, I think I right clicked and I accidentally decoupled the locomotive as soon as it actually started moving. So the guy actually left the wagons and I was like, ah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, it happens, it happens. As long as it's by accident, it's not a problem. Oh nine six seven three one. Uh, 
Okay, that, that's a freight train. I, I guess I will be a reason to make someone late with a freight train but well it's a freight train he has to deal with that <laughs> right let's make sure that all the doors are closed because unfortunately as much as I like these wagons Train driver too doesn't have like automatic door shutting or, or stuff like that and that would be great option just to make sure that all the doors are closed when you are departing that, that would be brilliant uh, so I don't really want to travel at 70 kilometers per hour with one of the doors open I, I think this patcher closed everything so we can now jump into the cabin and get ourselves ready uh, brakes are off oh, that's perfect so very soon chat very soon Back. Perfect. Okay, freight train should be getting in very soon. So yeah, chat, this is Train Driver 2 for you, if you've never played, uh, played this game. Uh, that's how it looks like sometimes. It's not Trains in World, where you have all the green lights you can have. Uh, sometimes you will be held at a signal, because that's the situation and you have to wait. There's no other way. And that's what I like about this game. Sometimes it lets you, it lets you take a break even though you shouldn't be taking a break. <laughs> and that's why you should always plan a little bit more time uh, than your timetable says. Uh, there's always delays. There's always something, chat. There we go. Please tell me this guy is gonna stop on time. There we go. Yeah, he managed to stop it. It's always really scary when you got train uh, arriving at, at the siding right next to you and he's going pretty fast getting close to the signal. Because if he overshoots it, then there is no way for us to, to stop on time. And, and that would be a collision. <laughs> it looks nice though. It looks nice when, when you got two trains moving right next to each other. Okay. Uh, we are supposed to stop at Schwiderek, which is right in front of us. So no need to go too fast. Okay, we are doing 50 and the platform is just right up ahead.
Okay, I'm saying if we're gonna start breaking here, we should be able to stop at the right time, I believe. Okay, now, now we are stopping a little bit too soon, I believe. Let's make sure that we can actually drag the wagons. Into the platform. Perfect. Okay, let's let's allow for extra few seconds so that the passengers can board. And off we go. And of course... There we go. Okay, hopefully we won't cause too long delay for that uh, 496731. Hopefully. <laughs> There we go, we are now approaching the end of the scenery. It shouldn't take long now. So the next stop is Vola. Oh, there we go. It's, it's been ages since I visited Vola. It's a really nice scenery if you like to dispatch on manual sceneries. So with all those levers and, and stuff. It's, it's really nice and easy scenery to, to do so. Good for starters. There we go.
Yes, uh, yes, I'm aware of those sightings. It's actually a pretty good station for anyone who would like to do some shunting on a low level scenery uh, because of those sightings. Uh, if you know the names of the sightings as a dispatcher, you can always spawn some extra rolling stock in there and uh, get someone with uh, SM42. And then that person can do some shunting. Uh, the problem of Vola is usually when you arrive there, you got learner dispatcher, and they make mistakes. And, and this one already did one. <laughs> Uh, same mistake that many of us are guilty of, uh, which is set entry and exit for a train that has commercial stop at the platform. Because technically you are not supposed to do that. Yes, true, true, true. I, I also was learner level dispatcher. Okay, we are now approaching entry semaphore. That, there it is. Now I have to make sure. To stop at the platform. <laughs> See, so so you should try it more. Try it more. It's it's definitely fun, and on stations like Vola, it's very easy. It's very rare uh, uh, on this station when you have to actually switch anything, uh, because in, in many cases you will just get trains passing through. Uh, speaking about trains passing through, where is the platform for my truck? It. Ah yes, uh, that's going to be this small platform. There it is. It doesn't even look like a platform, isn't it? go let's give it a minute that's the only thing I don't like about this station uh, from from the driver's perspective mostly it's it's because this platform doesn't really look like a platform. Uh, but hey, it is what it is, isn't it, chat? There we 
go. Uh, let me just uh, get a good shot. Yeah, I, I think that will that will do. Perfect. Okay, breaks off. Let's not block this station for too long. We are half an hour late, in fact. Yeah, we are already half an hour late. So right now we can say that we got slight inconvenience. <laughs> or we have caused slight inconvenience for our passengers. Okay, next stop, Lublinek. And it should take us around 10 minutes to reach our next destination. Uh, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. absolutely love to drive on this scenery just because of these tracks and and like all these sounds that you get brings back a lot of memories Perfect! Looks like Lublinac is limited to 70. Works for me. And there we go, that's the end of the scenery.
Lovely. Okay, and we are already approaching the red lights. Oh, never mind. Route is now clear. Well, not for long, though. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, but I'm fairly sure that platforms are just up ahead. <laughs> So I still need to slow down. Jessica team, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you all have a great time today. It's going really great. And how are you doing? Not a perfect stop, but good enough, good enough, Jeff, good enough. There we go. Yep, I, I can say it's good enough. We are right in the middle of, uh, of the platform. Passengers have access to everything. Did I lost one wagon? Nope. All five are there. Perfect. Right. Time to go. Looks like this patcher is very impatient. So next stop, Lisko w Przedmieście.
Where are we driving today? We are heading to Lemborg from Dobrzyniec with... Well, basically local or stopping passenger train. <laughs> So we got plenty of stops, some delays, as always. <laughs> but we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there, I promise. Okay, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Perfect. The Zen Show, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, nice. I, to be honest, I haven't been playing Run 8 since last time I streamed it. I really don't have a time, honestly, like, I barely have any time to, to look into most of the games that I have. And that's because of my studies and, and job that takes quite a large chunk of my private time right now. Uh, especially that I'm doing some overtimes to, to save up for a car. Uh, so yeah, definitely I, I have much less time for everything. That includes streaming and, and getting ready for them. Uh, so that's why not only I'm not streaming as often as I used to, uh, but I don't really have time to have a look into the games that I want to play on stream. And, and sometimes I, I have to rely on, on some quick ideas that I have on the day uh, when I actually stream. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's really hard to prepare any content, to be honest. But I got some plans, I got some plans, chat, and, and there will be some, some interesting things coming in the future. But for now, quick ideas, Train Driver 2 is, is one of them. <laughs> You can never be wrong playing Train Driver 2, isn't it? Like, it's, it, it's always a good idea. People actually tend to like this game, so... Okay, so we are now heading to Lisku Przedmieszcze. go let's send hello and we are now approaching our next stop
There we go. Ooh. Let's give it a little bit more breaks. Ah, look at this chat. Like a glove. Like a glove. Well. In my book, that sounds like perfect. And everything is within the platform. Okay, brakes are off. Okay, next stop, Lisco. It should take us around four minutes to reach it. Oh yes, oh yes, uh, train games are definitely very consuming. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it still reminds me the previous Train Driver 2 stream, which was supposed to take 3 hours and, and it took 7. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I, I took a little bit too heavy cargo with SM42, and instead of traveling at 50, I, I, I've been traveling at 20 for a large chunk of it, and, and I caught so much delays that it's absolutely unbelievable. And since that was also a freight train, well, basically I didn't have priority over anyone. So that only made things a little bit more difficult. My goodness me, this semaphore just scared me. Like, I knew it shouldn't be red, but oh, uh, that really scared me.
Right, we should be now approaching the platform somewhere. I, I'm not sure where is it. Uh, oh, okay. Now I'm sure where is it. That's gonna be next seven. Kubalunyat, thank you very much for follow. Welcome, welcome. Just perfect chat. Just perfect. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Question is how long is it going to take us to get a signal? Still got one hour to go. Ah, yes, uh, dispatcher might be willing to keep me here for three minutes, as, as my stop was supposed to be three minutes. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I will take a very, very quick break, and hopefully the signal won't change before I come back. I know it will, I know it will. I, I know my luck. Eh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, we are moving, we are moving, chat. We are moving. There we go. Okay, I, I don't think anyone noticed that, that I was gone for like a minute. <laughs> Or did someone notice?
Okay. That's gonna be thumbs up for the dispatcher. Okay, so that was Liskov. Uh, next stop is gonna be Chermin. Uh, we got, well, we we got three. Yeah, I, I I think it's gonna be like. Wait, Okon and Sotikov uh, or Sotikov. Uh, I I think it's still part of the Chermin, isn't it? So we got multiple stops at, at Chermin scenery uh, and we're gonna spend about half an hour there. And then we will head to Pszczyna. And finally, we will go on a single track and head to Lemburg. <laughs> yeah, uh, sounds sounds reasonable. Uh, what's your planned arrival to Pszczyna? If it's around 10 past 9, uh, then we should meet at Pszczyna. Yeah, so I'm approximately half an hour late right now, uh, so if I won't catch any further delays, I should be at Pszczyna around 10 past 9. <laughs> I was correct. There we go. Oops. I think I'm speeding a little bit. I completely forgot that... Tracks on Chermin are so smooth that even SM42 can... can go too fast in here. Well, that's not too bad. On, on such tracks, I, I think being just slightly over the speed limit for my train is not a big deal.
now it's time to slow down a bit. Perfect. Let's give it a moment. Oops, uh, wrong button. Oh, oh my goodness me. I, I almost initiated radio stuff. I Okay, we are moving. We are moving, chat. Uh, wrong buttons. I'm pressing wrong buttons, chat. Right, time to depart. <laughs> Before I do something silly. I was meant to press 7, not F7. <laughs> Thankfully, there is that failsafe in the game that you have to press it twice, not at once. Yeah, exactly. It, it's a good thing to to be required to confirm it. <laughs> Otherwise, that could have ended bad. Not sure how am I supposed, how I would be supposed to. <laughs> Explain myself. Why did I use radio stop if I didn't have to? I see, I see. It looks like we are going to arrive at the side track here. Yeah, definitely. This pusher is not sending us to the main track. So we might have to wait.
Oh, okay. We might actually be going onto a main track. Is it? Yeah, that is going to be main track. Not that it matters because SM42 is barely making it with, with those wagons to reach that 70, so... Oh, there's the platforms. Okay, one good thing about platforms at Chairman, if we're gonna start doing that, we should actually make it and stop at the end of the platform. XYZ, if you mean those red lights that are located here, those are... This one is alerter, so I have to confirm it every 60 seconds. And SHP is basically on track points that I have to confirm every now and then. If I fail to do so within time limit, there's gonna be a buzzer, and two seconds after the buzzer starts if I won't confirm it then the train will be brought to a stop automatically so basically this is a safety system to make sure that I constantly have control over the train right looks like we can depart uh, the light is green, if I... Yeah, I can see it. It is green. Okay, uh, next step, Czermin Południe, and then we are heading to Okoń Główny. And in about 25 minutes, we should be arriving at Pszczyna.
Okay. So the station is shortly after that semaphore. So let's slow down. Nikos, hello! Welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. There we go, that's the platform, we are doing 40. Oh, I see. Uh, I've just been informed that Lemborg is up. So, I guess we will have to call it a day at Pszczyna. Ooh, that is a heartbreaking. Yeah, I, I got too focused on the chat and I almost missed the platform <laughs> typical for me I yeah definitely my passengers are not happy uh, but yeah uh, Lemborg will be cancelled so chat we will reach Stina And then we will have to finish our timetable there. Because there is no other way for me to, to reach Lemborg if dispatcher is going to finish at 9. And there is no way for me to, to reach Lemborg on time. Unless somebody will take over. Uh, but that might be unlikely. We'll see, we'll see. There's still time, so if there's going to be a dispatcher on Lemborg, and then I will finish my timetable. It is pretty unfortunate to have the last station off. You effectively can't have the last station off. So we'll see chat, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I will find out at Pszczyna. Okay, so now we are heading to Ocon. Shouldn't take too long.
XYZ, yes, uh, this is in-game chat uh, and it will display both system message and messages between me and signalers or other drivers. Yeah, I think the tracks here are going downhill, is it? Yeah. Okay, we need to slow down a little bit because right now I was speeding a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, XYZ. The game is fully multiplayer, so there are very short sections every now and then that you have to drive in like a single player mode but yeah for most part the game is fully multiplayer so for example the train that is passing next to me is is actually being driven by another player there are no AI trains XYZ, the game is free. Uh, you can find the link in the description of the video. Uh, you might need to translate the web page though, uh, because most of it might be in Polish. Uh, but the game is free. So you don't have to pay anything. You can if you want, uh, if you want to support the pro uh, project, uh, then yeah, there is a donation system, but it doesn't give you any in-game benefits at the moment. I think it doesn't give you any, any real in-game uh, benefits. So. so yeah, give it a shot if you want. Although, make sure to read about traffic rules and, and all that stuff, and if you need any help, uh, you can always ask on the games forum uh, to get help from one of the trainers, and they will help you get started. Exactly, but everything can be found on the forums. Uh, there is a wiki page uh, that is, for most part, translated to English. Uh, so it's it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Alright chat, we are heading to Okoin. We should be there very soon.
There we go. Nice and smooth chat. We are almost at Okoin Gówny. Looks like the trucks are going uphill and I'm losing some speed and I don't want to lose speed <laughs> okay that looks like I'm getting very close to the platform, isn't it? Uh, this is yeah. I do hope that this patcher didn't send me all the way through. Although that's how it looks like. And I'm fairly sure that Okan Gurney should be somewhere nearby. Where is that platform? That's the question. Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, that's the next signal. I was almost scared that this patcher set my route all the way the scenery like a either spatter would and it's much harder to find the platform sometimes because uh, obviously you don't know which signal is the one right in front of the platform and right now yeah this one is so that's basically last semaphore in front of the platform and the next semaphore will be behind the platform right now go nice and smooth and I should be able to stop before the end of the platform without touching anything so let's make sure I can roll a little bit closer to the middle at least yeah I, I think I applied the brakes a little bit too soon
Okay, that should do. Although I got very poor visibility of, of that signal. It's it's just there. Uh, you probably don't see it on this screen. It is busy. So yeah, uh, I, I really need to zoom it in <laughs> to see the semaphore. I, I really should have gone all the way to the end of the platform, but well, you know. Why would I? Why would I? Isn't it just? Why would I? There we go. Let's, let's take a picture. Beautiful. Well, to be fair, even if I would be stopped right here I would have very poor visibility of that signal like just look at this it's so far away that you can barely see it okay please tell me my train is not rolling no it isn't okay Fine by me. It's actually a really nice station. I, I, I definitely need to give it a shot. Like, there are so many nice stations that I usually go through. And I can never find time to actually start one of them as a dispatcher. And perhaps try myself with with that station although I think Okongwune might be at a little bit higher level than I am right now so I, I might not be able to even start it Gibos, good evening good evening uh, I am having a great ride so far uh, although we are getting close to the end uh, basically we are on the very last scenery before the end I believe Unless somebody will take over Lemborg before I get there. Uh, then we have two sceneries. So approximately half an hour if if we get green light at some point. And I'm sure we will. Well, Spider, I know, I know, I know, but it's a good practice, at least from from my point of view, to wait at the platform. It, there's no need for me to actually depart before I have to. So I might as well wait at the platform. It, it doesn't hurt me. And it helps passengers. If somebody's late, then the person might actually board the train if it's still here. As long as I can see the semaphore, I should be fine. Hmm. What's in there? You know what, chat? I'm gonna use my standard cheat. Uh, no, uh, I need speed hands. There we go. And now I will see when the signal will change because next speed limit will go up from zero to, to like whatever that's gonna be, probably like 140 or something. 
So this way, when the signal changes, I will see that on the UI. Then I can turn it off. Wait, where is this truck going? I like it, I like it. I really like it. Ooh. That is definitely a really nice station to jump in the other day and do some shunting. got some wagons here perfect here 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 that's really nice and then you can assemble trains with SM42 yeah yeah with a good dispatcher that could actually work if we can for example despawn empty wagons and spawn them on the same ones as full ones that that would be brilliant and who knows who knows maybe in the future that that would be like a feature of the game when you got siding like that you can just bring empty wagons and they will be loaded or unloaded if the game could do that oh that would be brilliant like it it would actually start making sense to, to do some shunting in the future. Oh, okay. Chat. The signal have changed, is it? Is it or is it? Uh, okay. Yeah. You know what? It says zero kilometers in, in two... Yeah. Two kilometers. That's definitely not the signal in front of me. So, yeah. We can slowly... Advance. Okay. Uh, but let me just turn off speed pins. We don't need them anymore since we are already on the move. Okay, so we are now heading to Okoin Zachodni. Ah, that's a shame, that's a shame. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Spider. And yeah, uh, I am late. So I am officially late at Pshina, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, Railjet, yeah, technically it is possible. However, uh, it's it's better to to have like separate person to do dispatching and uh, and shunting. Uh, dispatcher is all right to to assist with shunting, and uh, and, I, and I've seen some dispatchers to actually do that. Uh, but I've actually never seen a dispatcher who is uh, like logging in on a shunter and, and does shunting. Uh, never actually happens to me. 
I know that in the past somebody used to uh, log in as a dispatcher, then jump in onto his own station and make himself a timetables uh, that that were like really good for for himself. But I think it was widely condemned by by the society on the forum. So I think it's now illegal to do that. Okay, so that is the platform. We need to stop here. Okay, that will do. Oh, I see. Well, I wasn't playing that often recently, so uh, perhaps that's why I haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, if, if some people are doing it... Well, there's nothing wrong in, in doing shunting on your own scenery, in fact. Uh, but yeah, if you have a chance uh, and someone who can drive the locomotive for you, uh, then why should you distract yourself from managing the trains? Uh, I know that sometimes you get like quite empty station and literally nothing happens. Uh, but when things start to happen, you don't really have time to, to drive your own locomotive. So it's better to have a separate person that will just assemble and dismantle trains and that works perfectly fine. Anyway, chat, we are now heading to Sotiku. We should be there really soon. There we go. We are now approaching the platform. Which this sign informs us about. platform is just right up ahead. Perfect.
That is very good. Okay, maybe not perfect stuff, but good enough, good enough. Yeah, I, I, I think the entire train managed to fit. But this is also a great station. Grab a nice screenshot. Uh, let me just stand a little bit higher. There we go. Perfect, chat. Perfect. We got some nice pictures here. Oh, there we go. Might as well take a close up. Yeah, that would be Okay, so now we are heading to Pszczyna. Yeah, I, I probably stood in one place for a little bit too long for that dispatcher. <laughs> There we go. Uh, let's. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. I, I know you can do it, game. I know you can do it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh wow, it, it takes a while to set up a scenery. How big is Pristina? Mm, that's a good question. Oh wow, that took a while, isn't it?
Okay. So, I'm gonna slow down. Because that's what last signal said. Unless... Nah, I, I think... Can't really make up the signal yet. Yeah, it is 40. That, that's gonna be perfect. There we go. Exactly 40 at the semaphore. Beautiful. Perfect. And... Can I make it before the end of the platform? I... I, I think I will. Uh, I am blocking passages. Uh, what's the maximum number of players for Train Driver 2? The server can hold up to 100 players. And that includes both uh, dispatchers and drivers. So the ratio will change every now and then. Uh, but I believe, yeah, it's 100 players.
Right, chat. Uh, since my last station, which is Lamborg, is off, uh, I just asked dispatcher on on this station to actually delete my timetable, as there is no reason for me to continue to the next scenery. Uh, because I wouldn't be able to enter the station anyway. Uh, Okay, uh, let me just give thumbs up to the dispatcher. Go. Final look at my train. <laughs> Final screenshot. Okay, chat, should we wait for 140602? Yeah, let's wait for him. Let's wait for him. Well, as long as... As long as this patcher won't try to kick me out, I can actually chill out on, on that platform. And, and he's gonna come in from that direction, I believe. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do, chat. Let's turn the UI off. And we can watch that freight train pass through the station. while we wait for him. Yeah, I, I think while we wait for him. Well, chat, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, it was a great journey. I really had fun streaming today. Uh, it was like, it's always a good choice to jump into Train Driver too. Uh, And obviously, like, this game is always a good choice. It's free. You can try it yourself if you never did. Uh, the link is in the description down below the video. Uh, if you need help how to start, uh, feel free to jump on the games forum. And you can find people with uh, trainer status. And they will arrange a training session for you and teach you how to drive different trains. Uh, how to follow different instructions and later on when you reach appropriate level uh, as a driver they can also teach you how to do dispatching and, and signaling and then you can take over control uh, of a station and basically be a signaler yourself uh, so yeah uh, there's a lot of nice opportunities for everyone and it's it's definitely worth trying uh, so that's one thing uh, E-Boss, to answer your question, uh, yes, uh, if a player is traveling in one of the wagons that I've been pulling today, which is them ones, they can. Unfortunately, those are the only wagons uh, that support passenger traffic, so other player can hop in and he can travel inside the wagon. Unfortunately, that is only within confines of a single scenery. So you can't travel all the way from, uh, from start to finish of my timetable, uh, but if there are multiple passenger stops within the same scenery, somebody can jump in on the first one and jump out on the last one. And that's perfectly fine. But that person won't be able to connect with you all the way through different sceneries. Uh, so that is to answer your question. So yes, these new wagons uh, that were added in last two patches uh, support 
passengers, uh, so you can other player can literally jump in and, and drive as, uh, and ride as a passenger. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a nice improvement, uh, definitely, and and the game maybe at some point will go into direction where players can join the game as a passengers and eventually jump into other strains. Uh, who knows? Who knows where the game will go in the future? But for now, it's been a project that has been developed for quite a while now and yes uh, eventually things are going forward uh, every now and then we get some updates uh, people are making new sceneries uh, because the game has built-in editor and, and basically anyone can do a scenery as long as the scenery follows uh, like real life rules uh, it can be even like a not real scenery as long as track layout and everything is done within like certain specifications uh, so yeah we'll see we'll see uh, we will definitely see where the game goes uh, but yeah for now uh, if you are interested to, to jump in feel free to check out the link in the description of the video and you will find everything there uh, also, uh, if you enjoy my streams and content that I do, uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, share the video with your friends if, if you have anyone who is interested in railways or topics that I cover in my videos. Uh, and of course, don't forget to give the videos a like, that is definitely helping me a lot. Uh, if you really want to support my channel, uh, you can do another thing which is become a crew member uh, and that that's something you can do on YouTube and there is that join button that you can press and check out the offer behind membership okay uh, so what is he doing uh, did he actually stop my goodness me he was supposed to drive through Oh well. I got another screenshot because of that. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I think he's now trying to move this train. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Got see, see, see. It's it's not only streamer fail. Oh uh, now now the guy got stuck. <laughs> See, that's what you get when you are trying to do something silly just because you want to be on the stream. Uh, he should have just driven through and, and that would make better results, but uh, now he's gonna be stuck uh, because, yeah, releasing brakes, especially in a long freight train, takes a while. And he was supposed to drive through. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Uh, looks like we got really nice finish of the stream. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, chat, thank you very much and I hope to catch you next time. I stream uh, mostly on Fridays and hopefully it will be Fridays only. Um, unless something gets really in, in my way, it should be always Friday at 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, so if you want to take note of that date, uh, that's when I usually start my stream. And the last thing, yes, uh, don't forget to join my Discord server. Link is in the description down below the video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.